And what conclusions did you draw from the blood evidence, Mr. Morgan? I was able to determine the victim's movement and direction after the initial blunt force trauma to the head caused by the defendant's fist. How so? I reconstructed a timeline and sequence of events by examining it's here somewhere. I noticed a passive flow pattern blood stain approximately two meters in length emanating from the head wound and the sample was consistent with the sample from the defendant's shirt. You did say passive flow pattern blood stain. Quote unquote. What exactly do your notes say? Um, the blood stain described a passive pooling and flow configuration type O negative matching the sample taken from um, uh, Leonetti's shirt. Well, this is a Gomez hearing. Yes, Mr. Morgan. The defendant's name is Benito Gomez. Uh, I must have brought the wrong notes. Do you frequently become confused and disoriented while conducting your spatter analysis, Mr. Morgan? No, I do not. Uh, we just had a new baby. Things were a little hectic this morning. So you're saying that you're sleep deprived and it's affecting your judgment? No, it's just a momentary mix up. Wrong notes, wrong blood type, wrong defendant, wrong case. That's what you call a momentary mix up in a murder trial? I misspoke. Your Honor, the witness has just demonstrated how unreliable he is in a courtroom. I would have to ask how reliable his work is in the lab or on a crime scene. Moreover, how reliable is a police department that would place so much trust in his expert opinion? 